Jane was born in August 1915 in Providence, Rhode Island. Grew up in Springfield, went to Ridgewood School, graduated in 1929. From there, she went to St. Catherine's School in Richmond, Virginia, and graduated in 1934. And from that, she came back to Wittenberg and attended Wittenberg, then went on to Boston to the Art Institute. So somewhere along the line, Jane met Dwight Wheeler Hollenbeck, and they got together on June the 17th, 1939, and were married in Christ the Episcopal Church. From that marriage of Jane and Dwight, they had two children. Peter, born in 1942, and Dwight Jr was born in 1944. Oh, she was very, very friendly and always very, very nice and extremely considerate. She was a very generous person. It seemed like just when whatever came along that seemed to be a good idea and needed some help, Jane was always willing to help out. I first met Janie Hollenbeck uh, roughly 2003-2004. She had a giving, generous spirit that um, manifested itself, of course, in our community. But she was also the kind of individual that never, ever said a negative word about anyone or anything. She saw beauty in, in her surroundings. She saw beauty in, in the people around her. I believe Janie lived that paraphrase from the Bible that to those whom much is given, much is expected or much is required. Janie, I, I believe, lived the philosophy of, of giving back. She had been blessed with um, a wonderful life. She honored that blessing that life by giving back into the community. She very clearly loved Springfield, Ohio, and she wanted these institutions, the symphony, the art museum, Ridgewood School, where she attended. She wanted these institutions to, to thrive and to continue to be a part of this community. So she um, very much felt called to, to make that happen. We knew them at church. Peter was an altar boy, as I was. In the last 30 years, Janie sat in a pew that was right next to ours uh, on the far right side of the church. Judy and I saw her most every Sunday when she was in town. Janie had her spot that she liked right in front of a big Steinway grand piano. She loved the church. The co-rectors, Bob and Ruth Partlow, uh, asked Janie to make a significant contribution to the endowment of the church, which she did. The money was given to support Christian education, the outreach of the church, and the maintenance of the church. Janie, in everyone's eyes, was a very lovely, gracious, giving person. She was well known around the community for being that type of person. The first time I met Jane Hollenbeck was actually at the Springfield Museum of Art in the Deer Gallery. And Jane had come by for a visit. And this was shortly after I was hired as the new executive director at the museum. She was a founding member. Jane Hollenbeck is a dual philanthropist for the Springfield Museum of Art. She's both given financially, but she's also given artistically, both herself as well as her family. Through their generosity, we received a mini treasure trove. As one of those founders, her support, her participation carried a great weight. Jane Hollenbeck was one of the first people I met when I came to town. I always loved to visit with Jane because she, she would always say, music fills me up. I could tell that music was a, a, a strong inspirational force in her life. She always shared her excitement in the fact that Springfield could uh, sustain an orchestra. She left an indelible mark on the orchestra 
from a standpoint of endowing its future. I would shout from the rooftops the extraordinary gift that Jane Hollenbeck was to the orchestra. You see her influences all over. So she got it. She understood that, that a great city is made up of all sorts of, of, of different elements um, that she saw were, were important to support. Wittenberg University, uh, that the city, that the orchestra, that the art museum were all entities unique to this community and deserved uh, to be the very best that their talent could take them. Um, and, and she saw as her role empowering that through her, her generosity. The most visible manifestation of the Hollenbeck family generosity to Wittenberg and commitment to Wittenberg over time is certainly Hollenbeck Hall. Um, Hollenbeck Hall was dedicated in January of 2000. It houses our humanities departments and is the most active classroom building on our campus. Um, you know, typically uh, every classroom, every seat is filled every day of the week in that building because it's such an important center for teaching and learning and for gathering for our, our students, faculty, and staff. Somebody new to Wittenberg, new to Springfield, you know, I'm aware of the, the impact of the Hollenbeck family on the whole community, but the, the place I see it most for Wittenberg and for our students is in Hollenbeck Hall. Jane's relationship with my predecessors, uh, Baird Tipson and others, uh, was a very important piece of Jane's contribution to Wittenberg. The Hollenbeck name is very important in terms of impact of, at Wittenberg. I met Jane in 2013 when I became president at Clark State, and Chris Culp, who was our vice president for advancement, we went over and visited with Jane and Buzzy, her dog, and, um, and got to know her over the course of a few years. We're extremely grateful to her and her family for the gift that allowed us to build the, the Hollenbeck Bailey Creative Arts and Conference Center. Ms. Hollenbeck definitely had a vision for what she wanted to see in that facility. She wanted to absolutely make sure that students benefited from that building, and that is hence the creative arts piece uh, where we have instruction in um, graphic design, new media. Project Jericho is housed there, a wonderful arts intervention program for youth in our community. The impact of her gift is absolutely immeasurable. We knew two things were paramount, to reconnect with our alum, alumni base, and two, to, do, to get a preschool. Benita reconnected with Jane Bailey Hollenbeck, who she calls Janie. Through her generosity, vision, and commitment is what propagates the success of our school today. She saw a need to start a preschool, and that's how it all started. Bob Harley is crucial. Most of all, it was Janie Hollenbeck. Uh, Janie loved her school. She was, a, she was an alum. We are definitely in a new era of the school. Uh, financially, uh, culturally, um, community-wise, we are reaching that next level. Jane Hollenbeck donated $3 million to specifically um, build a preschool. Uh, for, this, uh, for the school and to do any major repairs that we needed to have done. We are just so honored to be the beneficiary of uh, her gifts. It puts the school in a great position for the future and frankly, the uh, Springfield community as well. 60% like of our students are on some sort of financial aid. And Janie's gift, along with the contribution made from the uh, Centennial Campaign, will allow us to continue that. The future is extremely bright for, for Ridgewood School. As a Ridgewood board chair and alumnus myself, uh, we are extremely honored to give posthumously Janie Hollenbeck the Alumni of Distinction Award in 2018.